You're here to meet a 13 year old. Hey, man. Solicited photos. There's somebody here. Are you really doing this? Yes. <laughs> okay, it's. All right, that clip you just watched is from a YouTube video posted by CC Unit. The whole video lasts nearly 55 minutes in which two YouTubers set up an attempt to catch a person they say try to meet up with a 13-year-old in Bakersfield. Law enforcement telling 23ABC the video's content is under investigation, but as of now, no arrests have been made because of that. We've chosen not to identify the man in the video, of course. 23ABC's Veronica Morley is taking us behind the scenes of that vigilante operation and if local authorities think actions like this help or hurt law enforcement. You initiated a conversation with a 13 year old knowing she was 13, yes or no? I went on that same 13 year old account and messaged him as a fan saying, hey, I love your YouTube. He's like, oh, thanks. And we just liked his, liked his comment, that's it. And then two days later, he messages us like initiating conversation knowing she was 13. It sounds like an undercover operation. But it's not cops behind these fake profiles. They're the creators of the YouTube channel CC Unit, which stands for Creep Catching. The group posts dozens of videos just like this one, where they posed as a 13-year-old online and met up with a person they were talking with, which they say took place here in Bakersfield. What we do is we tell every predator we live in, we live where they're from. Because so like, I have arrests in Los Angeles. I have arrests in um, like Temecula, Riverside area, and then I have arrests in um, Virginia. Adrenaline, because you know, like you're dealing with a criminal, obviously. You know, they, it, there's definitely some gray areas that are involved in this as far as legal uh, and, and the potential use of some of this as evidence in criminal proceedings. With Bakersfield police say while vigilante operations like this are not illegal, it's a dangerous position to put yourself in and could impede law enforcement down the road. What we see is we get reportings after these events have occurred, and it's never from the people that are directly involved. Uh, and so that creates problems with the uh, obtaining of all of the information. They say impede on their investigations. There is no invest. I've, we, we do it, me and Ghost respectively have caught combined over 300 predators. Every time, like, law enforcement says, oh, you're, like, not really helping the situation, uh, I, f I feel like it, it's, like, a part of their protocol. Or but BPD says there are several different factors that make operations like this more suited for trained investigators. Bring certain skills as well as investigative strategies to the table where we can ensure that one, if there's a victim, that they're protected uh, so that we can then hold people accountable for their actions in a court of law versus a court of public opinion. Where I just hope, I just hope that, you know, people, people support what we do because we've yeah, in the end, in the